It is Friday, July 31st, 2020, and you are tuned into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. There was another All-Star Circuit of Champions race last night, and it was yet another All-Star Circuit of Champions win for Kyle Larson. When I shared the prediction for the race on yesterday's show, it was the biggest favorite we've seen from the prediction formula thus far, with Kyle Larson being the favorite at nearly 70%. The problem was at the time, I wasn't 100%, 100% sure if Larson was even going to race, uh, but he did race and he did win again. Larson went quick time, finished fourth in his heat and won the second dash last night at the Plymouth Dirt Track. That put him on the outside of the front row with Gio Selzy on the pole. Selzy was good early though, jumping to the lead on the start. With Larson under fire from behind, Behind, Selzy was able to gap the 57 in the opening circuits. Once Selzy caught the back of the field, though, Larson was able to run him down and take the lead by lap 12. Behind Larson, Kerry Madsen was quickly on the move from his seventh starting position, and he was uh, to second by lap 16. With the leaders in lap traffic, Madsen was able to get close to Larson, but just not close enough. A few nifty moves through the lappers gave Larson some breathing room over the final laps, and he drove away to his 11th All-Star win of, of the season and his sixth All-Star win in a row. Aaron, uh, Kerry Matson was second, Gio Selzy third, Dominic Selzy fourth, and Corey Eliason finished in fifth. Aaron Reitzel's off stretch of races continued last night. He finished in the 11th position, and it was his third finish in the last six races outside the top 10. The good thing for Reitzel, though, is his closest challenger in the fight for the championship. Corey Eliason has had some struggles lately as well. Heading into tonight's race at 34 Raceway, Reitzel's points lead is still 130 markers. Looking towards tonight and the weekend, the All-Stars have three more races upcoming. After tonight at 34 Raceway. The All-Stars invade Knoxville Raceway tomorrow night, Saturday for 5,000 to win. And then they head to Houston Speedway on Sunday for a big 20,000 to win show. Kyle Larson is favored by the DirtTracker.com analytics prediction formula again tonight, but it's a much smaller win chance from the formula at about 9%. Tony Stewart was the winner at 34 Raceway with the All-Stars in 2019. For Saturday, Larson is again favored by the formula at Knoxville with Gio Selzy next highest in win chances. Gio won at Knoxville in 2019 with the All-Stars. Aaron Reitzel has actually been really good at Knoxville this year as well. He's won two weekly shows already this season there. For Sunday at Husets, there's no past races in the database for that South Dakota racetrack, so the predictor is using results at tracks similar in size and recent results for all drivers. No surprise, again, Larson, uh, the favorite for Sunday as well. You can watch the entire All-Star Weekend live on Flow Racing if you cannot make it out to the racetrack. Moving over to the World of Outlaws, the sprint cars and late models in both series are in action this weekend with the late models at Kokomo Speedway tonight and tomorrow while the sprint cars are at Wayne County Speedway on Saturday for the first time since 1985 and then Plymouth Speedway on Sunday. That's the first time back at Plymouth since 2017. For the sprint car predictions, we don't have past races at either tracks this weekend in the database. So again, using past races at tracks similar in size and recent results. David Gravel is favored for both races this weekend at Wayne County and Plymouth. Donnie Schatz and Logan Schuhart also have higher win chances. Brad Sweet enters the weekend with an 18-point advantage in the standings over Logan Schuhart. Should be another wild weekend with the top five so close. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if we saw something similar than what we've seen in the last week with a lot of shifting around in those top couple of positions. Um, it's really going to depend on night to night how guys are doing between Sweet, Schuhart, um, shots and then and then Macedo and Sheldon Huddenshield obviously not being too far back either so uh, we'll keep an eye on all of that uh, the late model weekend at Kokomo will have a similar format to the Prairie Dirt Classic it's replacing with qualifying and showdown features tonight Friday and a 25,000 to win feature on Saturday night again no Kokomo late model races in the database for the prediction formula Brandon Shepard is heavily favored winning 40% of simulated races run he continues to lead the point standings over Ricky Weiss and he's got six wins in his past seven races with the series so Brandon Shepard is on fire right now all four World of Outlaws races can be watched live this weekend with your fast pass on Dirt Vision Indiana Sprint Week for the USAC National Sprint Cars was supposed to be at Lincoln Park Speedway last night, but rain caused the night to be lost. Because of the weather situation, the remaining Sprint Week schedule has been altered a bit. Tonight, the Sprint Cars will take on Lincoln Park Speedway, while Saturday is still at Tri-State Speedway in Hopsa, Indiana, as originally scheduled. And then Sunday, the Sprint Week finale will move to Bloomington Speedway. Justin Grant currently leads the Sprint Week point standings over Chase Stockton and Brady Bacon. Grant, CJ Leary, and Logan Seavey have won Sprint Week features up to this point. You can watch the whole weekend 
mentioned again live on Flow Racing. The US MTS Modifieds were at Mason City Motor Speedway last night for the finale of Mod Media. Derek Ramirez was victorious in the 40 lap feature over Lucas Schott, Rodney Sanders, Terry Phillips, and Hunter Marriott. It was Larson's, uh, Larson, it was Ramirez's fourth win of the season and second at Mason City. Rodney Sanders continues to lead the series standings over Ramirez, Jason Hughes, Hunter Marriott, and Zach Vanderbeek. The US MTS Modifieds are back next Thursday night at 81 Speedway in Kansas. Tonight and tomorrow is the third annual 305 Sprint Car Nationals at the Belleville High Banks in Kansas. There are currently 57 cars registered to compete over the two nights. Jake Buback uh, has won the event the previous two years, and $65,000 in prize money is up for grabs for competitors. Friday's winner will take down $3,500 with an additional $1,000 to the driver uh, that can win over Buback. And then Saturday feature will pay $8,000 to win. Um, to the winner. Both nights of the 305 Nationals can be watched live on Flow Racing. Um, I made another addition to the Dirt Tracker universe uh, yesterday that you might have already seen uh, across the Dirt Tracker, so Dirt Tracker social channels or even this podcast feed. I'm going to continue doing this shorter daily show, but I wanted to add some longer form conversations with some racing people to the podcast mix as well. Yesterday, I dropped the first of these longer form shows I'm calling Dirt Tracker Conversations. Episode one features Sprint Car newcomer Ayrton Jenatin. Episode is about 30 minutes and is a great opportunity to get to know a young driver. These conversation episodes will be available in this same podcast feed and will be available on YouTube as well as dirttracker.com. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have guest suggestions. I'm not sure yet how often I'm going to do these longer form shows. Hoping right now to at the very least do a couple a month. Uh, might be weekly, might be every couple weeks. I'm not sure yet. We'll kind of see uh, how it plays out. Uh, but hopefully you enjoy them. Let me know what you think um, and uh, looking forward to, uh, to doing some more conversations. Uh, let's take a look at the Dirt Tracker streaming schedule. A ton of stuff on the schedule tonight. I won't go over everything because there's so much, um, but uh, definitely plenty of things to watch tonight. Dirt Vision has three shows. They've got Williams Grove weekly show tonight, uh, 410 sprint cars and 358 sprint cars. Uh, they've got the World of Outlaws Late Model Series from Kokomo Speedway and then weekly racing from Attica. Flow Racing, again, a ton of stuff tonight. They've got that new uh, Indiana Sprint Week show from Lincoln Park Speedway. They've got ULMS late models from Bedford Fairgrounds, IRAs at uh, Langley County Speedway. They've got those the 305 Sprint Nationals that I mentioned earlier. Racing Boys has Midwest Wingless Spritz from Lakeside Speedway. Racing Dirt has USRA action from Red Dirt Raceway. And then Speed Sport has a number of shows. Um, looks like maybe 10 plus shows tonight uh, across different racetracks and different racing divisions. So plenty of things to watch this weekend, uh, and tonight and this weekend, uh, if you're looking for a little dirt track uh, fix and you're not going to get out of the house. You can find that full streaming schedule at dirttracker.com slash watch tonight as usual. That's it for the show today. Hope everybody has a good Friday and a good weekend weekend. Um, should be another good weekend of racing. We'll certainly be back on Monday to recap all of the action. You can find Dirt Tracker daily on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or where you get podcasts. Please subscribe and leave a review. You can also watch the show every day on YouTube and Facebook. You can email the show at info at dirttracker.com and you can follow along at facebook.com slash dirttracker, twitter.com slash dirttracker, and the website itself dirttracker.com. You can follow me personally on Twitter at Justin underscore Fiedler and don't forget to sign up for the Dirt Tracker weekly newsletter. Thanks everybody for tuning in this week. We'll be back on Monday for more Dirt Tracker Daily.